Counterside is the newest gacha game that has been released to the audiences worldwide just a few hours ago, which you might have already seen through its countless ads on YouTube. But is the game as fun as they advertise it to be? This video hopes to answer that question. Let's start off with the game's visual presentation. It's mostly comprised of 2D visual assets and static background images that are appealing to the eyes. Character designs are pretty superb and I like that they don't wear questionable clothing like most of the characters in other gacha games. Cutscenes are presented through visual novel style and you need to read through dialogues to know the story. Since the game is developed by Korean developers, everything is translated from Korean to English. Dialogue seems to be well translated which is a surprise for me since the ads that I have been seeing from this game all have broken English at worst and amateurish English at best. I'm glad that the translation is actually well done in the actual game, especially during the visual novel bits. This is extremely important because the game doesn't have any voice lines during these bits. Speaking of voice lines, the game only has Korean as its voice language settings, although people seem to be speculating that a Japanese dub will be coming in the future. I'm not hoping for anything but I will surely welcome it when it comes. When it comes to its gameplay, it's a mixture of a lot of other game mechanics. Counter side is a 2D side scrolling tower defense where you need to deploy counters to battle corrupted objects, all the while protecting your own ship from being destroyed by the enemies that are ever advancing from the opposite direction of where you are. Once deployed, your characters will automatically fight any enemies that will come near them. Deploying characters require deployment points, a mechanic similar to Arknights in Illusion Connect, which replenishes over time. And similar to the former, you can withdraw any deployed counters at any time, which will let them recover HP and redeploy them if needed and if you have enough deployment points. This allows for careful strategies and tactics to defeat enemies, pretty similar to both Arknights and Illusion Connect. Combat is fully animated and it's not just chibi versions of characters getting animated or PNG images that only move their joints like FGO. Animation is pretty smooth as well and the overall visuals of the combat is pretty interesting to watch. Meanwhile, before battles begin, you need to navigate your ship through a series of grids where enemies will be placed along the way. Similar to how our Zor lane and girls frontline present strategic movement of your characters. The game also offers players with an official reroll feature that lets you roll a gacha bundle free of charge for 30 times, for a total of 300 gacha points. This eliminates the need to painstakingly resetting your game's data and playing through the tutorial multiple times to get your desired character. Obviously, if you pass up on a current time 10 gacha pool and decided to pull again, you won't be able to go back to the previous bundle. Reaching 30 pulls or confirming your decision will give you 10 free units with a guaranteed SSR character and 4 SR characters. Finally, the game is available both for Android and iOS devices as well as on a computer. The PC client is more of like a port though and it isn't anything fancy like Honka Impact 3 or Genshin Impact's PC clients but it's more than acceptable. Having the ability to play a mobile game on a device that doesn't have a limited battery is always a plus for me, especially if it is an official channel that developers have made. Overall, the game is pretty fun for the first few hours that I have played it. I will most likely continue to play this game for days to come as well as the other gacha game that I have picked up recently. So if you want to see videos about them, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.